We've got another viewer question, and this time it's from Tiffany S. And Tiffany writes, Hey, I love your videos, and I wanted to ask, do you know if a smaller pot size will stunt the growth of echeverias? If they do, does it have negative consequences? I grow echeverias indoors, and I would like to get some deck-right hybrids, but they grow too big to have indoors. Good question, Tiffany, and yes, constriction does have something to do with it. If you take two plants that are of the same size, place one of them in a pot and another directly on the ground, the one planted on the ground will grow much larger than the one that's kept in a pot, and I believe that it has to do with the constriction of the plant inside the pot. Here, let me show you some for reference. I've had this little guy in a pot for about three or four months now, and if you look at it, measures around 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Now, if we compare that with any of the ones that I have planted in the ground, although these ones are planted close together, there's still some competition, but I gave them enough space back in, I think it was episode 35 or 36, and at the time, they were tiny, about this size or this size, and now, this one in particular is 20 centimeters or 8 inches. Most of them are the same. Yeah, this is also 20. This is also 20. Yeah. Most of them are the same size. And the thing is, I've only had this ones for less than two months. So maybe a month and a half or a month. They have they have already grown a lot bigger than the one that I kept in the pot. Now here's another example, as you can see there are two imbricatas on the left in pots and one on the right in the ground. They are roughly the same age, give or take a month, so I, I pulled them out from the parent plant at the same time last year. Granted that the ones in the pots haven't been watered properly and are looking a bit dehydrated but still the difference in size, the size gap is so huge. And do keep in mind that this does not only work on plants in pots, this also works on plants that are planted in a tight arrangement, let's say a tapestry like what you see now. As long as they don't have enough space to stretch their legs so to speak, then there would be a stunt in their growth. Now the question is, is it safe to keep them in pots? Generally speaking, you're alright, but you'll find that you have to replace the soil maybe once every every two to three years, it depends on the on how fast the plant grows. The reason you will have to replace the soil is that there are two things that you have to do when you're depotting and repotting them. First one is to trim or to prune the roots, that way it won't be constricted to have some breathing room again. And the second is you're replenishing the soil so by the time that it has completely outgrown the pot and the roots start going around, coiling around the soil, coiling around the pot, you're giving it more nutrients again, which means that it has some food again to sustain it inside this tiny pot. The other thing to note is that if you leave them cramped in a cramped space for too long, then this will slowly kill them. This is why it's a good idea to refresh the pot every, every few years. You can use this strategy of keeping them in pots to keep them small, as you said, because you're right, the, the deck right hybrids go really huge. This is why I love them <laughs> and I keep them in the ground. But yes, you can contain them, contain the growth by having them in a small pot. By the time that they get constricted in the pot, you have two options. You can either go up a size with your pot or remove the, pot, remove the plant from the pot chop off most of the roots, leaving a small root ball, then reusing the same pot. Either way is fine. Thank you for that question and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.